Hello guys and welcome back to Auto Crate. So I'm back at Evo Customs right now, sitting in a brand new Toyota Fortuner, the Legenda version. So this car has dropped down from Kerala to Evo Customs Bangalore in order to get a complete full-fledged pro audio setup done. So without any further delay, let's get started with the video. Guys, starting off with this is the fleet of equipments which are going to be installed on this Toyota Fortuner Legenda. Now starting off with the speakers, in the front we are going a 3 way active, so it's an audible physics avatar mark 2 component with a combination of ram 2q mid range, so it's a 3 way active in the front. So this is how the mid base looks like, sorry it's upside down. So this is the mark 2 of audible physics avatar and this is how the tweeter looks like. Now this is the ram 2q mid range, an excellent mid range, so this 3 way is a perfect SQ setup. Now in order to compensate the front with the rear, in order to timber match and compensate the rear we are going with the audible physics thunder. Now this is how the tweeter of thunder looks like. And this is the mid base. So this is a set of front and middle row speakers. Now moving to the amplification, the main the amplifiers. So we are going with 12 channels of amplification, 2 of diamond audio's micro 4 4 channel amplifiers and one of Arc Audio X64080 4 channel amplifier. So total of 12 channels of amplification. Now the reason why we chose the Diamond Audio is because of the chassis size and the clean RMS output which it gives out. Performs excellently well. Now as you guys can see, this is how much the size of the amplifier is. Now don't judge a book by its cover. Doesn't mean big amplifiers give clean RMS output or gives better output. This Diamond Audio microphone does wonders. And my all-time favorite, the Arc Audio X60 4080 is an excellent amplifier in this price range, a Class D. Even for a 4-channel amplifier, this is a compact one, but the Diamond Micro 4 takes it to an all-new league. Now moving to the main mastermind, D10 Audio 408 DSP, so 8-channel of DSP, so we can go complete active in the front and passive at the rear. I'll be explaining you guys a complete setup on how it runs later on in the video. Now you guys might wonder what the speaker is. Now this is a 5 and a quarter coaxial speaker. Now for a Fortuner, the last row should not be left alone. So we are going for a custom 5 and a quarter speaker uh, in the last row, the third row. This is how the speaker looks like. We are going to do some custom enclosure for it. Uh, the plan is still around. I will be letting you guys how it's going to situate once the plan is ready. Now this is how the DSP408 looks like. I am personally running this on my car. And it's an excellent DSP, this price range. There are too many DSPs out in the market and too many misconceptions on DSPs. I'll try making a video on DSP alone, on what its significance is and why you need a DSP and why you need to go for a DSP later on that. Now, soundproofing. Most important thing when you go with such beautiful SQ setup or in fact any setup, we are using the Vibramax damping sheets. So this is how the damping sheet looks like. Performs a very good job. The butyl quality is good, the aluminium sheet thickness is good, in fact overall it's a very good damping sheet. Now this is a subwoofer, Diamond Audio CX Black. Now this is a 10 inch subwoofer, we are doing a custom fiber enclosure for the sub in order to save space, in order to give it a better look and feel and in fact calculating the enclosure size, the custom fiber enclosure in order to get the right output. So this is a 10 inch subwoofer. Now moving to the wires, the most important thing. So starting up with, this is an Ice Audio's 4 gauge pure copper wire. So we are running 4 gauge on one side, I am going to split it into 2 8 gauges for the diamond micro amplifiers, 2 of those. So we will be running one on the side, I will be showing that soon on the car. And one 8 gauge will be run for the Arc Audio's X60 4080 4 channel amplifier. Yes, these are the power cables, fuse holder will definitely be there, without fuse holder uh, it is not a complete setup. So. Just showing you guys the rules. I'll be showing you guys a fuse holder later on. Now for the speaker, since we are taking this to an all new league, we are using 14 gauge speaker cables. Usually it's 16 gauge, but since we want the best output, we are going for 14 gauge speaker cables, OFC cables from the house of Acoustica, 100% copper. Now for the subwoofer, it's a Stinger cables. It's a 12 gauge uh, speaker wire. So we are going to use this for the subwoofer. So, in conclusion, this is the fleet of equipments which are going to be installed. Now, this is a huge project. It's a 3 days project. 
and uh, we have been challenged by the customer in order to get this complete setup done and tuned in the right manner which the customer wants so i'll be taking you guys to the complete procedure the complete step by step on how each thing has been done and where what should go and how it's been tuned so it's a three days procedure but i'm going to make it in one complete video so let's keep going so guys the work on the toyota fortuna has been started as you can see all the door panels have been removed the placement of the amps dsp and speakers have been planned accordingly so for now the damping process has been started so dual layer damping on all the four doors plus the boot has been started now all the three doors have been completed with the dual layer damping as you can see I've just left the driver side door with a single layer damping to show you guys how a single layer damping looks like and once the dual layer is completed that's how it's going to look like on the damping material which we are using as shown earlier is Vibromax now other than the damping material the wiring has been started so one 4 gauge wiring comes from the battery to the driver side and splits into two 8 gauge wiring uh, for two different amplifiers the diamond audio amplifiers are going to be placed here the compact amp so two four channels are going to be placed under the driver seat and this distribution block will be distributing the four gauge into two eight gauges for the two amplifiers so that will be powering that up now as shown earlier the speaker cables used are acoustic cars 14 gauge OFC speaker cables so they have been running out on this side as well as on that side and on the co-passenger side there is a one eight gauge power cable which has been run for the arc audio amplifier which is going to be placed under the middle row seats so the 8 gauge runs there. Now a top tip to anyone who's planning for an audio setup is please concentrate and invest your money on wiring rather than going on expensive components and expensive amplifiers. Yes you can go for that but before that make sure you don't compromise on wires. Let it be a small setup or let it be a pro audio setup. Always concentrate on your wires. Try going for OFC wires, speaker wires and choose the right gauge of speaker wires. Um, I've seen many people using uh, electrical cables which are used for household purpose. That's a no-no in car audio. Uh, you should always use speaker cables and the conductivity is better. Moreover, the installation process is better in a car audio speaker cable because it's designed for car audio and it's better to use something which is designed for car. So the base roots of any audio setup is the speaker cables and the amp wiring kit. So make sure you go for a good quality one and try going for an OSC cables all piece. Guys, now it's day 3 and there's a lot of work which has been completed on the car. So the previous clips which you saw in this particular video are all day 1. So we weren't able to shoot on day 2 because there was too much work going on. We didn't have time to shoot. So I'll be summarizing what all was done on day 2 in this particular shot. So this is day 3. I know it's one full video for you guys but it's 3 different days for us. So let's go ahead and unlock the car. Now as you guys can see the previous clips the car was kind of bare bone the toe pads were all removed. I had shown you guys how the damping was done and various other things. But right now the damping was completed. The components are installed from the front, rear as well as the middle row. Now as you can see the mid ranges have also been installed. Now this was a custom fiber enclosure which was done for the Ram 2Q mid range. And from here till the end, it has been leather wrapped and it's a perfect finish. I don't see any flaws in it. And same runs with the Avatar's tweeter. Now, the Avatar tweeters were a bit big in form of diameters when compared to the stock location. So, we need to do another custom fiber enclosure for this as well. And again, we leather wrapped it to black in color. Now, this is how the A pillar looks like. Now, the customer was very particular because the car goes too much into guard sections. So, we did not want the mid-range to block his view and create a blind spot. So, we angled it accordingly. Now, another update which I forgot to show you guys in the equipment which is going to be installed in this car is this handheld unit. Now, this is an Evo Fit 332 360 handheld unit. So, let me just quickly start the car. To show you guys how the 360 works. So, once I start the car. Here's a 360 degree icon. Now that's a Prado by the way. But this is how the 360 is done. Now the calibrations were all done. I'll be dropping down a few pictures right now of how the calibration was. Now I can make a complete in-depth video of how this 360 works. Now for a quick tip, this is how the 3D 360 is. As you can see, it is flawless guys. It's super smooth, super sleek. Now 
there wasn't a Fortuner's car logo, so that's why we've used a Prado. Now you have the front 3D, 2D, and here you have the back view, uh, the back view, the side view, the right side view. Both the right and front views here. I can select the points which I want to view at. And another crazy feature which I haven't seen in most of the 3D systems aftermarket or in fact from factory is this. Maybe I might be wrong, but mostly in aftermarket this uh, feature wasn't there. That is this. So once I tap on the logo, as you can see, the car becomes translucent, and I can see through the car. Now once more I tap it, the car goes away, and only the four wheels are there, and you can get a clear view. Now this is pretty fancy, and in fact useful as well. I I can if you guys are interested, I can make an in-depth video on this. So for now, this is a 3D 360 system. Now this is a 332 Intel processor with DSP. Now this is the front overview of the entire car. Once again, the three way active. So I'll just move back, pull this front driver as well as co-passenger seat all the way front, and show you guys the AMP DSP location and how the wires are routed. So guys, finally the complete installation has been completed. As you guys can see here, the components have been installed at the rear. These are the Audible Physics Thunder. Now I'm sitting at the rear to show you guys the AMP locations. Now under the driver side seat is where the diamond audio amplifiers are located. Now this is the distribution block. There's another diamond audio four channel amp microphone located ahead of this. Uh, it's inside, so the seat is all the way fixed. So I cannot show you the other amp, but it's located right in front of this. Now on the other side is where the detonator DSP is located. As you guys can see here, that is the DSP four zero eight. Now under this seat, the middle row seat is where the Accordios X sixty four zero eight zero four channel amp is situated. So as I explained earlier, the distribution block distributes two eight gauges for the two diamond audio four microphones, and one eight gauge runs here. So four to eight there, and one eight gauge runs here. Now the most unique part about this is this last row speakers. As I showed you guys earlier, this is the five and a quarter. Diamond audio speakers. Now it's again custom fitted here, so that the last row occupants don't uh, won't be left out with the audio output. I mean the right audio output. So it completes the entire cabin. I'll just move to the boot to show you guys how the subwoofer is located. So as you guys can see now. This grill is situated so that it's safe. Now this is a custom mold wrapped in carpet. So this is a Diamond Audio 10-inch subwoofer CX Black, a beautiful 10-inch subwoofer for SQ and SQL lovers. So this does a pretty good job in order to provide the entire base into the cabin. Since it's a lengthy car, it does provide a good amount of base inside the cabin. Now this totally depends upon the tuning. So the DSP tuning has been done. And this is the Thunder's here. The tweet is located here, and the mid base is located in the stock location. Now, as you guys can see, that's the two Diamond Audio's Micro Four amplifiers. So for now, let's move ahead and come to the final climax, the output. So I'll be playing an NCS song to give you guys the output, as I cannot play any other song due to copyright issue. So let's get going. This now I'll be playing a NCS song, Losing Control. So let's get started. Guys, this was a short uh, 
uh, music output of this entire setup. Now again, as usual, the camera cannot do justice of the output because in person, this is a perfect SQL setup. Three-way active in the front, two-way at the rear, and especially the last row speakers has impressed me a lot, the fine quarter speakers from the House of Diamond Audio. So it keeps up and it timber matches with the entire cabin. And definitely a shout out for the Diamond Audio CX Black 10-inch subwoofer, a beautiful 10-inch subwoofer, and it fills up the cabin like extremely well. Now again, this all depends upon tuning. No matter what equipment you install, the tuning is the most important thing. And the Mastermind d Audio DSP does most of the job. And the Micro 4 is an excellent amplifier. Now, usually there are many compact amplifiers out in the market telling they're the best. But to be frank, an audiophile will definitely love the Diamond Audio's Micro 4 for the price it should be. And my all-time favorite, the Accord X60 4080, a beautiful amplifier. Now, those of you guys who are waiting for the complete audio setup price, now including the 360 degree camera, the alignment, the DSP tuning, the head unit, and the list of equipments, this closes up up to 3.6 lakh rupees for the entire setup. Now, this is a worthwhile setup for all the audio files out there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked, please consider the like button. And if you have any queries or suggestions, please let me know down the WhatsApp number showing below or let me know down the comment section. So, see you guys in the next video.